water bottle collection behind me. <laughs> uh, I am very exposed right now. All of my water bottles, I'm literally sitting on my unmade bed. I took all my sheets off and washed them and haven't remade it yet. I'm pretty sure I have lipstick all over my face because I just ate a hot dog. Good start. <laughs> Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome back to my channel. Man, all the fall vibes, guys. So excited. Oh my god. Um, I don't know what that was. So to get you all excited for autumn and fall fashion, I'm gonna sit down and share with you some of my favorite stores and their autumn collections and just clothes they have in store that I think are perfect for the autumn season. So I nipped over to a different city just for you guys and checked out Abercrombie & Fitch. I, bl I, give, I have to give it all the, to quarantine and just that random time I was like, I wonder what Abercrombie & Fitch looks like. At one moment I've had two hauls um, and now I'm about to make another one. So uh, stick around if you do because these clothes, like I think they've really stepped up their game. They don't have like big things with the mousse all over it. It's, it's very... It's almost like a it's like a better quality Zara and H and M. I feel like they like they have high quality stuff, and I'm I'm here for it. So anyway, let's uh, get started. Get yourself a cup of tea. Bring your laptop out in case you want to shop any of these links. And uh, wait, did I just say bring your laptop out? You're literally watching this probably on your laptop. I watch YouTube on my Apple TV, so that's why I said that. Anyway, let's just get going. Alrighty, so pulling it up on my phone, the first thing that I tried on was this beautiful Sherpa leather trim jacket. It has leather in like the side pocket and then it has some leather strips like along the zipper and along the wrists and the bottom bit of it to it. So I kind of like that aspect to it because it adds a bit of like structure, like heavier weight to the jacket itself rather than it just being like a basically a blanket because it's the coziest, softest thing ever. So with that, that being said, that alone, I love the jacket. But I, I just think it's so cozy. Like imagine wearing that. I wouldn't wear it when it's wet, obviously. But like imagine it's just like that crisp fall morning where the sun is out and you're just going for a nice stroll and you're just bundled up and you got yourself a little PSL and you're just having a time. I think that is like, that's what I'm picturing when I tried on this jacket. I was obsessed. I didn't pick it up because as you can tell, I have like so many jackets that I'm now wearing a jacket as a sweater. I, I love it. I think it's beautiful. It online, it says it's $99 Canadian. So one thing like $99, yes, is a lot of money, but I think it's a really good quality Sherpa jacket. I've seen a lot where it's like, you can tell like one wash it's done. This one, it is really good quality, I think. And another thing too, especially if you buy online, go when they have like a sale, like I know they just had their Labor Day sale and I'm sorry, I should have actually like posted about that to giving you guys a heads up. But like they have lots of sales all the time where you can go and look at like, they already have everything on a discount, but then they do the thing where you get an additional 15 to 20% off on your cart. So you can definitely save a lot of money, just uh, be, uh, be aware of what's going on in the sales and stuff like that, keep an eye on it. I've gotten amazing things, like very cheap. Like I got Brendan t-shirts for like $7 and that all had to do with the extra discounts on top of the discount in the cart. I love the color wheel on the MacBook, so fun. The next thing that I tried on was a little out of my comfort zone. I just wanted to see where I was in size reference. But this is the satin slip mini dress in the light brown pattern. It's basically just like a light brown with white polka dots on it and stuff like that. And I was really impressed at how much I liked it. I'm very happy with the fit of that. And I'm gonna, I'm looking at it online and they have it in black, burgundy, and green. And it is $79 Canadian. So, and they also have it in different fits of petite, regular, and tall. So I tried it in the size extra small. I think it was really, really nice, especially in my chest area because I don't have anything going on here. So I was quite happy about that. that I found my size for that sort of dress. Also one thing to keep note of is they don't have a zip along the side to help you put it on. It's just a one size thing. It's easier to step into it than put it over your head. Just a, a heads up. I struggled a little bit in the change room because I'm five years old and don't know how to dress myself. I really like that dress. I just, the skin, the color with my skin didn't really match. It wasn't something that I'd wear a lot. However, a black one, I think with my faux fur jacket in the wintertime and a pair of black heels. Gonna look pretty good. So the next thing that I tried on 
is something that I really regret not getting. <laughs> I am so upset with myself. I, I don't know what was with me this morning when I had this, um, but it is this, this sleeveless wrap bodysuit. It comes in white and black. I tried on the black one and I loved it. I loved the straps. I loved how it had that little bit of extra fabric in a knot on the shoulders. I loved how it fit me around like the side boob area, like it wasn't too much, it didn't show too much of my skin, it covered a lot. I was very happy with it. I actually tried it in the extra small and I would recommend sizing down. I was going to do a small but I did extra small because it's very stretchy and I feel like the more you wear it the more stretch it's going to give um, or it's going to have. So I highly recommend sizing down on that. The, even with the bodysuit I found like it, it was stretchable that it wasn't too much stretch so I couldn't lift it up. That makes any sense. But I would recommend size down. I loved it. I love how it had a little bit of a lower back than the normal ones or like a mid back I'd say. It's not high, it's not low. But yeah, so I just, I think it was beautiful. It was, when I asked the, it was originally $45 Canadian, and when I asked the lady how much it was, she said it was $25, and I was like, oh, I don't know, I kept going back and forth, I'm like, $25 is not bad for a tank top, especially something that I can wear all year round, either on its own or under cardigans and stuff like that, but I don't know why I said no. However, looking at it on the website now, it says it's $18. So I think I'm just going to add that to my cart right now because I've thought about it and I regret it and now I'm buying it. So yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so that's that there and I'm very happy with it. So the skirt that I tried on is not available online. It was in sale in the st on the store for $47.90, but I don't know why I can't find it online. However, I am looking at this one here at which I'll leave linked. It's the vegan leather rutched, rutched? mini skirt. This one says it retails for $69 and this one was on sale for $49 I said. Um, the only difference is that this one had a little slit on the side. It was nice. It wasn't as good quality. I remember seeing this one that I'm going to have linked in the store. That one felt a lot softer and nicer than the one that I tried on. And it didn't have that like massive zipper in the back. I'm not like, I like the hidden zippers. I'm not a huge like exposed zipper person. It just doesn't look good. It doesn't look classy or put together. So that's just my style and my preference, but I'll have this one linked below. And if I can, if I keep looking and stuff like that, I'll be able to find it. I'll link that as well, like the actual one I tried on. So this dress I tried on, my friend is getting married. Well, there's actually many weddings next year <laughs> that I'm going to, but one is on a, on a farm and I thought this one would look beautiful. It's just very very like simple and casual but elegant. I want to say like classy, it's not like strapless or strappy or anything like that. Like I just thought it was nice. However, it was 45, I think the lady said it was. And I just, I don't know, I didn't love it. There was the long tassels on the front and the tie on the back. I wasn't a huge fan of it. And the armpit was a little weird, especially um, if I lifted my arms a bit. So I didn't end up grabbing it, but I think it is a cute thing if that's your style. It has pockets though. That was like the kicker. I'm just like, oh my God, do I just buy it because it has pockets. All right, last but not least, I'm obsessed with this color. I didn't, I was going to grab this one However, when I put it with my cardigan that I was wearing earlier today, I didn't like how it fit. I'd rather have it on its own than under a cardigan, and I don't know why it was. I think it was because of, like, it was a v-neck. I'm not too sure, but when I put it on, I just didn't like it at all. I was like, this looks terrible, and I didn't want to buy a tank top going into, like, fall, winter, because obviously I'm not going to wear it until the summer, and it was full price anyway, so I just left it at that. But this is the V-neck sleeveless bodysuit for $49.90, and I tried it on in an extra small. This was in the dark brown color and I think it's a beautiful color for brown or for brown <laughs> I think it's a beautiful color for fall before I put the cardigan on and when I loved it I just kept picturing you know going pumpkin picking with a nice dark chestnut brown cardigan or wearing it with like a nice hat or just like styling it under this jacket it just looked like one of the perfect bodysuits to wear under anything and for me when I put on the cardigan over top of it it just didn't work for me. It's just more my style. I like being covered. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's just me. But the bodysuit itself is beautiful. It stretches well. I love the v-neck aspect to it and the, the long back. That was really, really nice. So not too bad. Anyway, it's five o'clock. I feel like I should make myself some dinner, have a glass of wine 
and do some online shopping and edit this video. So yeah, it's a wild night over here. I'm excited. <laughs> so stay tuned for a haul because there probably will be another one. I'm getting a phone call, so I'm gonna wrap this up. <laughs> Hello. Hello, welcome. You're on a vlog, I mean a video. <laughs> Would you like to say hello? Hi to all my fans. <laughs> I'm that mysterious person I'm leaving to is me. <laughs> I was just doing an outro. Can I call you back in like 20 seconds? Yeah, no worries. Okay, thank you. Bye. Oh, that's Laura. She's my best friend. Okay, so anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you got some insights or are looking at Abercrombie and Fitch now and looking at some of their, their fall fashion stuff. I think they have some great pieces available. And stay tuned for their sales. I think they're gonna I think they're gonna be good. I'm saving a bit of money for their Black Friday sale because there's a couple things I know are gonna be on there and I'm gonna want to buy, like that satin dress. So yeah, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any future videos from myself. Next week I have another come shopping with me, so stay tuned. And in a couple weeks, it's October. I'm so excited. I filmed a video yesterday and it was gloomy and it was cold and it was perfect. All of the spooky, spooky vibes. So excited. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.